What's up YouTube, Wiggs here, and you guys usually know me for providing you guys with game content for my Xbox 360 or PC, um, but today I'm going to be doing a movie review on Taken 2. So me and my girlfriend went to go see this movie in theaters during the weekend. Um, it's starring Liam Neeson, Famke Janssen, and Maggie Grace. Overall, I think it was a much better movie than the first Taken. Um, there was a lot more action. If you guys can remember from the first movie, Brian was uh, barehandedly kicking people's asses, taking their guns off of them, and occasionally using guns. Um, but in Taken 2, actually, he uses the guns quite more often. He actually takes one with him on his first mission. Um, another point that I want to make is that there's a lot more blood and gore in this movie. So if you're not the type of person that likes bloody, gory movies, you shouldn't go see it. Um, my girlfriend was actually holding on to me the entire time. And she whispered in my ear so no one else can hear that she hates these type of movies. Um, there's blood splatter, bullet holes everywhere. Freaking bullet holes in people. You can see the holes in them. And it's disgusting. Um, I personally like those type of movies. It's realistic. Um, another point is that Brian gets into a jam in this movie. If you guys can remember from the first one, Brian kind of just gets hung up with handcuffs above some pipe. And he gets out of it in like 5 to 10 seconds. Um, in this movie, he gets into a similar jam. I don't want to give away any um, details because I don't want to spoil it. But he gets into a similar jam. So in your head, you're thinking, okay, he's going to get out of this real soon. Um, but actually, it's suspenseful. He, he's in the jam for quite some time. And it really, it's suspenseful for the whole movie because it, he's pretty much in this jam the entire movie. And you don't know if he's going to get out and save them. So it really keeps you on your toes. Oh, another great point is that Kim, the daughter of Brian, is one badass driver in this movie. Uh, she pretty much defies the logic of women drivers. Um, the stereotype usually goes that women drivers are horrible. And I know personally that getting in a car with my mom is something that I dread. Uh, absolutely dread. We can be going a short distance to, the, to a Walmart or something, or a long distance. And it's just, I have to tell her, I put my seatbelt on. I tell my passengers to put their seatbelt on when we get in the car with my mom. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, but Kim, who the daughter, who's the daughter of Brian, definitely makes this movie worth watching with her driving skills. I don't know how long it took the directors to teach her how to drive like this, but Fast and Furious ain't got shit on her in this movie. Um, the ending in Taken 2 is better than the first movie. I wouldn't say a lot better. It's definitely something that uh, needs to be worked on in their in their sequels or whatever they plan on doing. Um, if you guys can remember from the first Taken, Kim was rescued by her father, Brian, and she pretty much just goes back to the town in which she lives and then goes gets in a car with her mom and drives away. Um, there, granted, there were a couple seconds of like crying and hugging and saying thank you, but she just gets in the car and goes away. It's ridiculous. Um, in the second movie, they definitely beefed up their endings. I wouldn't say tremendously, but it's it's not much better of an ending. But it's definitely a little bit better than the first ending. I wasn't I wasn't expecting much, but I guess just lower your standards for an ending. Um, the only complaint that I have about the movie is that during the first five or ten minutes of the movie, you know what's going to happen. Uh, you know who's going to be abducted or taken. You kind of know what's, how everything's going to go down and pan out and stuff. So that's one of the cons that I have. Overall, my rating for this movie is a 7 out of 10. And I say this because it's a great movie. Uh, it's a lot better than the first one in many ways. There could be so much more detail and a better ending. Um, but then again, that that might be what the directors are looking for. More so, they keep you on your toes, and then in another year or so, they'll put out a Taken Three, uh, the sequel. Maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. That'd be a great idea. Hopefully, it doesn't take them four years like it did this time. Um, but they have a lot of work to do, I think, on their endings. That's why I rated it seven out of ten because I was kind of on the fence of if it was a great movie, if it was a mediocre movie. If it was a mediocre movie, I was going to go 5. If it was a great movie, I was going to go 10. Uh, so I just said in between there. It's really... It, I would recommend go seeing the movie. Go watch the movie. Um, you have to watch the first one. 
you're not going to know what's going on in the second one. So I would definitely recommend going to watch Taken 1. Uh, you can get it. I don't think it's on Netflix, but there's ways to get it. Don't Just use the internet. Don't say I told you that. But find Taken 1, watch it. Go to the movie theater and watch Taken 2. You'll be blown away by it. Uh, so if you like this, guys, I ask you to please subscribe above. And you can follow me on Twitter. And you can follow me on my Twitch.tv channel, which is a live gaming channel. I st you stream your Xbox games or PC games or whatever. Um, I'll have both of the links in the description down below. And thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. I'm out.